Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Atlantic Broadband Cable in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight, via tape delay from Albert Gallatin High School, home of the Colonials of Albert Gallatin, the Mustangs of Laurel Highlands will take on the Colonials. Hello, everyone. This is Gary Frankhauser along with Jerry Dupay. We welcome you for high school basketball here on the South Union Township Sports Network. This coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring the supervisors of South Union, Bob Schiff, by Rick Fernan, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CU TV with Gary Smith. Once again, Gary Frankhauser with the play-by-play. -play. Jerry Dupay on the camera. We'll be back with the starting lineups. You're watching the South Indian Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. people unknowingly have chronic liver disease and discover it during routine blood testing. Possible causes include alcohol, hepatitis C, fatty liver, and iron overload. If left unchecked, this can lead to cirrhosis or severe liver scar. Offer the latest testing and treatment for chronic liver disease. SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Every person who's been injured, when they come in, has an expectation that their case is important, and it is to us. We take these cases very seriously. So that experience that we have is unique also because we have experience in these communities, in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg, in these court systems. You don't have to go to Pittsburgh to be represented by attorneys who don't know their way around your community. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law.
Welcome back to Albert Gallatin High School. It's senior night here at Albert Gallatin, and about to be recognized are the Albert Gallatin basketball seniors. The first senior is Hunter Boyd. Plan to attend Penn State Fayette to become a physical therapy assistant. Number 106 foot two senior forward for Albert Gallatin being honored here this evening. I believe we have three seniors for Albert Gallatin to be honored here. And it's always a special evening for the seniors. Hunter Boyd. Hunter Boyd, the first Albert Gallatin senior to be honored. Our next senior is Chandler Goodwin. Chandler Goodwin. Number five for the Colonials. Chandler is a member of the basketball team, the golf team, the baseball team, Young Astronaut Club, and the National Honor Society. After graduation, Chandler plans to attend college and play baseball. Chandler Goodwin. Ladies and gentlemen, Chandler Goodwin. Willie Palmer. Number 10, Willie Palmer coming out to be honored here on senior night. Willie is the son of John Palmer of Mason Town and Robin Kent of Union Town. Willie is a member of the basketball team, the baseball team, and the ski club. After graduation, Willie plans to attend college and play baseball. Willie Palmer one of the three Albert Gallatin seniors being honored here this evening, and we're happy to bring those Ladies honors to Palmer. the South Union Township Sports Network. Congratulating our seniors this evening is Principal Jason Hutchinson, Athletic Director Dwayne DuPont, Head Coach Shea Fleener, and Assistant Coaches Tim Dye, Jake McGurko, and Jordan Alderson. Administrators and coaches for Albert Gallatin providing much deserved congratulations for the three seniors here for the Albert Gallatin Colonials. There you have it, the seniors for Albert Gallatin. We'll be right back with the starting lineups for both squads here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. 
your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebley, Mahalo, and White. Here we go with your starters for the visiting Laurel Highlands Mustangs coming in off an impressive victory against Greensboro Salem their last time out. Mustangs looking to finish the conference season against Albert Gallatin here on a positive note. Here are your starters. Number three, Connor Basinger, a six-foot senior forward. Number 21, Keandre Cook, a six-foot-two junior forward. Number 12, Timmy Smith, a five-foot-six junior guard. Number 14, Simon Kuznar, a 5'11 senior guard. And rounding out that starting lineup, number 34, Ilyasa Saluka, 6'6 senior center for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Mustangs were able to defeat the Colonials their last time out, but Albert Gallatin surely will be trying to avenge that loss here on home court with Albert Gallatin already securing a playoff bid They'll be looking to improve their seating position here this evening. We'll be back with the starters for Albert Gallatin right after this on the South Indian Township Sports Network. Good luck to the Mustangs from the South Indian Township Supervisors, Rick Vernon, Jason Scott, and Robert Schiffbauer. Here we go with your home standing Albert Gallatin Colonials under the coaching of Shea Fleener. Here's your starters. Number two, Nate English, a 5'11 guard. Number three, Hunter Boyd, a 6'2 forward, one of the seniors being honored here this evening. Number 10, Willie Palmer, also one of the seniors. He's six foot and plays at a forward position. Number 21, Tyrese Jackson, a six foot one junior forward. And number 23, Dylan Shea, a six foot two sophomore forward. Those are your starters for the Albert Gallatin Colonials. Officials for tonight's action, all-star crew of Tony Carter, Jake Miller, and Elliot Adamovich. That sets things for you for tonight's action. We'll be back with the National Anthem and the tip here on the South Indian Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service.
Welcome back to the gymnasium at Albrecht Allerton High School, home of the Colonials. Captains and coaches, along with the officials, going over the final instructions at half court. Sportsmanship message being given by referee Tony Carter, Coach Hogger, Coach Fleener, along with their squads. And we are just about ready for the national anthem and the introduction of the starting lineups by the PA announcer here at Albert Gallatin. Here we go, our national anthem. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the Once again, an outstanding rendition of the national anthem here at Albert Gallatin. Here's your starting lineup once again by the PA announcer. Senior, number three, Connor Basinger. Connor Basinger, Mustangs will be without. Connor's twin brother, Kane Basinger, here this night off the bench. Unfortunate accident for Kane will render him unavailable here this evening. Timmy, Junior, number 20, Timmy Smith Keandre being introduced. Cook. Simon Kuznar, Keandre and Cook. Senior, number 34, Eliasa Saluka. Eliasa Saluka rounding out that and starting lineup. Your Albert Gallatin Colonials. <laughs> sophomore, number two, Nate English. Nate English, 5'11", sophomore, provides a lot of offense Senior, for the Colonials. Three, Hunter Boyd. Hunter Boyd, one of the three seniors being honored here this evening. Senior, number 10, Willie Palmer. Willie Palmer, also senior. Junior, number 21, Tyrese Jackson. Tyrese Jackson, a junior. And sophomore, number 23, Dylan Shea. Dylan Shea. Provides some bulk in the middle, just a sophomore for Albert Gallatin. We're ready for high school basketball here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Laurel Highlands in the traveling blue. Albert Gallatin, the home white. Laurel will be shooting at the far basket as we start the first quarter. Near hoop for the Albert Gallatin Colonials. Should be a spirited contest here for the Fayette County rivals. These two teams have developed a nice rivalry in pretty much all sports. Just traveling down 119 both directions. Albert Gallatin setting up in a defensive stature for the tip. Controlled by Saluka, back to Timmy Smith. He'll bring it ahead, man-to-man -man defense for Albert Gallatin. High screen provided by Basinger, handoff to Kuznar. Another high screen, Saluka. Keandre Cook being guarded there by English. Inside to Saluka, skip pass, almost tipped away. Timmy Smith able to pick it up. He'll try a 15-footer, hit it. Bucket by Timmy Smith. Timmy Smith, early bucket for the Mustangs. Palmer to English. Back out on top now, it's English. 
Right side wing there was Boyd. Now trying to power his way in and doing so. Dylan Shea with the power move to the hoop. Ties it at two. Just underway here at Albert Gallatin. One minute in, tied at two. Cook, kick back out to Timmy Smith. This will be Connor Basinger for three. Got it. Connor Basinger for three. Mustangs in the 2-3 zone. Ball movement by the Colonials. Try to get it down low that time to Shea. Out of bounds. Turnover back to the Mustangs. Timmy Smith will bring it ahead. Pressure, man-to-man -man defense. A lot of screening by the Mustangs. Need to have that ball movement continue. Clean screens. Looking inside, this is Cook, double team low. Kick it back to Junior. What do we got? Illegal screen, I believe. Maybe a call there by Elliot Adamovich. Saluka picks up his first foul, team first, on an illegal screen. English now looking for the cutting Albert Gallo to Colonials. Boyd dribbles to his right. English will try the three. He'll hit. Ties it again at five. Timmy to the hoop. Knocked away out of bounds. It will stay with the Mustangs. Good drive to the hoop there by Smith. Just in there with the tall trees, though. Couldn't get it up to the rim. Cook looks. Timmy. Gets it back inside. This is Basinger. Good pass. Basinger to Cook. Assist Basinger. Bucket Cook. Boyd now goes baseline. Good pass inside again. Blocked away by Keandre Cook. Dylan Shea did not feel Cook coming from the weak side. And nice defensive play there, but out of bounds. Back to Aubrey Gallatin. Palmer looking, looking, has to go way out on top to English. English and Boyd on the near side. Screen out on top. English has it knocked away. That's going to be off Keandre. I'm sorry, that's off Iliasa. Junior Saluka hit off his knee and straight out of bounds across the way. English now gets a high screen. Boyd looks inside. Trying to pound it in there to Shea, no doubt about it. Palmer on the weak side. Thought about the three, fake, good ball fake. Back out to English. They'll screen on top, Boyd. Down low, got it again to Shea. Shea with two layups. Good ball movement and pass there. Tyrese Jackson with the assist. Coach Auger calling plays out. Posting up Saluka down low. Good spin move. Got it off the side of the rim. It's going to pick up another foul. Not what Iliasa needed to do. Frustration foul there. That'll be two on him, and Coach Auger will have to go to the bench early. Two fouls in the first quarter. We'll send him to the bench and bring in Tyvon Long. English surveys the situation. Corner to Palmer. Tried to skip pass, could not do it. English now on top. Guarded there by Timmy Smith. Boyd, baseline to Palmer. Trapped there slightly, but kicks it all the way out on top again to Boyd. Boyd dribble drive, good pass inside. Foul, and a bucket. Tyrese Jackson with the score. Foul called, I believe, on number three. That's Connor, Connor Basinger. Basinger. Iris Jackson at the line. For His first team third. Albert Gallatin yet to foul here with 4.24 to go here in the first. Jackson trying to complete the three-point play. Count it. 10-7 now. Albert Gallatin on top. Three-point play gives them the lead. Timmy trying to look for help. Gets a screen up top, and he's blocked there by Boyd. Got to feel him on your hip there now. Almost a steal by Kuznar. 
Boyd, kick out to Palmer, drives baseline, nowhere to go with it. Harass there by Basinger. Jackson to the hoop, with the left, no good. Tyvon Long with the rebound, gets it out. Keandre Cook way outside, no bucket. Palmer with the rebound. Transition basketball now for Albert Gallatin. They'll have to reset, but he traveled. Boyd with the travel. Ten seven, three thirty-eight to go here in the first. Albert Gallatin with the advantage. All important two fouls on Junior Saluka. Nice pass inside. Can he finish? No. Tyvon Long could not finish. Works to get his own rebound. Now we got to have a foul called, I believe, on Albert Gallatin. Wow. Tyvon got it to the rim easily, just could not finish, but stayed with it. Able to pick up the foul there on Hunter Boyd. Out of bounds. Back to the Mustangs. First team foul called on Albert Gallatin. Cook with the drive. He'll stop and shoot. Got it. Smooth athletic move there by Keandre Cook. Brings the Mustangs to within one, 10-9. Quick ball movement now by the Colonials. Knocked out of bounds by Cook. Jackson tried to hit Shea on the baseline. Little tip out there by Keandre Cook. Jackson to the hoop, almost he traveled, he did. Tony Carter with the call on the baseline, a little bit out of control there. Tyrese Jackson with the travel. Gives the Mustangs the ball back. We're under three minutes here in the first. Kuznar with the dribble left. Keandre thought about another long one. He'll bring it back out and reset. Boyd all over him. Oh, that's a screen there by Tyvon Long. Shea Fleener did not like that one as Cook will take it to the hoop. Can't get it to go. We're going to have a defensive rebound foul called on Tyrese Jackson. So that's the second team foul. Out of bounds underneath to the Mustangs. Replacement into the game for Albert Gallatin. Chandler Goodwin, the senior. Third senior being honored here this evening. Checks in. Mustangs quickly get it in. Basinger will try another long one. No good. Pulled down there by number 20, Tito Harrison, who also checked in for the Colonials. To the hoop, English is going to be fouled on the drive. Too much body contact and hand checking there. That's on Timmy Smith, his first, team fourth. Demetrius King will check in for the Mustangs and give Timmy Smith a break. English on top now against the 2-3 zone. On top of the zone there, Kuznar and King. Palmer, deep three and count it. Willie Palmer for three. Makes it 13 to nine. Right at two minutes to go here in the first. Kuznar drives left. Cook will take a throng three. Keandre answers with a three. He's got seven in the first quarter. English now being guarded there by King. Palmer back out to English. Inside, Jackson, he'll take it to the hoop. Floater. Tyrese Jackson. Tyrese Jackson with the floater. 15-12, Albert Gallatin on top. Kuznar now will handle the point guard position. Connor Basinger trying to break through. Dribbles off his foot. We're going to have a hell ball, I believe. We do, and that's going to be Albert Gallatin possession on the alternating arrow. Minute 16 to go here in the first. Good clean action here so far at Albert Gallatin. English. Pounding it outside. Corner to Palmer. 
Back to English. Looks for Palmer in the corner. He'll take the three. Off the rim, no good. Basinger now bringing it ahead, trying to get to the rim. Knocked out of bounds. Tried to hit long at the block, but knocked out there by Albert Gallatin. Checking in now is number 34, Braxton Turner for the Colonials. Long in the corner, he'll swing it out to King. King in the corner to Keandre. Cook will kick it back out to King. Tight man-to-man -man defense by the Colonials. Good pressure. Looking for that screen up top. Kuznar will stop and shoot. No good. Tipped around and controlled by Turner. 32 seconds ago. Colonials bring it back. English stops and pops. Kuznar with the rebound. Get it ahead to Demetrius King. He took a travel. Thought about the shot for a second. This did not put her on the floor before he took off with 22 seconds to go. Albert Gallatin up by three. Probably hold for one here with 20 seconds to go. Mustangs change up and there's a turnover and a foul call, which was probably a good foul for Albert Gallatin as the Mustangs had a breakout. Five by Braxton Turner. Braxton Turner, his first, team's third. And the Mustangs will have the possession with 14 seconds to go. Try to screen down low. Cook will try the three, in and out. Long with the rebound and put back. Can't get it to go. One second, wow. Another opportunity at point blank range there by Tyvon Long. That ends the first quarter. Albert Gallatin 15, Laurel Highlands 12. We'll be right back with second quarter action. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost-effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Important for people to know that we represent injured people to the best of our ability and we've been successful doing that. And I don't say that to have people come to see us because we have been successful. I say that because it's true and it's important. 
Another important aspect is the experience that we have is local experience, experience in the court system in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. Here we go, second quarter action. Albert Gallatin with the first quarter advantage, 15 to 12. Scoring for Albert Gallatin, Nate English with a three, Willie Palmer with a three, Tyrese Jackson, couple of buckets and a three point play for five. Dylan Shea with four for the Mustangs. Connor Basinger with a triple, Timmy Smith two, and Keandre Cook with seven. Demetrius King gets it inside to Iliasa throws it away. So Coach Hogger comes back with Saluka, even with those two fouls. Trying to clog up that middle. Palmer now gets it out to Boyd. He'll try the three. No good. Palmer with the rebound. Off the rim, no good. Turner with the rebound. He'll be fouled on the putback. Three opportunities at the rim that time by Albert Gallatin. Demetrius King picks up the foul. Turner will go to the line. 15 foul on Laurel Highlands. Turner with an opportunity for two at the line to add to a 15-12 Albert Gallatin advantage. Second opportunity to come. Turner, two for two. Timmy Smith now coming ahead again against this man-to-man -man defense. Cook cutting outside to Saluka. Driving to the hoop. Iliasa too strong, can't finish. That's about five layups that the Mustangs have missed so far here in the first half. That's off the hands of He touched it last, Albert Gallatin touched it last, so that is a correct call. That is a correct call, that's backcourt, Tony Carter, just like out of bounds. Last to touch was Albert Gallatin. Good heads up call there by Tony Carter, substitution now into the game for Albert Gallatin. That will be, I believe, Tyrese Jackson coming back in. Timmy Smith with the pass inside and finished finally by Tyvon Long. The Mustangs can complete those point blank shots. Have an opportunity to keep it close. 17-14 now. Pass inside now. That's Jackson. He'll kick it back out to Palmer for three. No good. Long with the rebound high for the defensive bound for the Mustangs. Saluka now at the foul line. Back to Timmy. Smith tries to go to the hoop. He's tripped. Inadvertent there by Hunter Boyd, but it's a foul nonetheless. By Hunter Boyd. Got his feet tied up there, and down went Timmy Smith. So that will be Hunter's second foul. Team foul number four on the Colonials. All the way out on top to Demetrius King. Tried to get it inside. Long knocked away. Now stolen back. Turnover by the Mustangs. English to the hoop. Has it knocked away, and he's out of bounds. Good defensive block there by the Mustangs. Trying to save it in there was Shea, but his toe was on the black. Two minutes in here in the second quarter. Remains 17-14. King with dribble drive, shoot, got it. Demetrius King for two. Brings the Mustangs to within one. 17-16. English and Boyd playing catch, try to get it into Jackson. That's out of bounds again. No look pass there by English trying to hit Jackson. Unable to complete that pass. Out of bounds back to the Mustangs. 
Now we got an off offensive foul. What do we got here? I think it might be on Saluka again. It is. Wow. That's his third foul already here in the first half. Just too much body in there at the post. Offensive player control foul called by the officials. No opportunity at the hoop that time for the Mustangs. These opportunities are very valuable. Palmer for three, in and out. And now we got a foul here. No, a travel. Coming down with the rebound there was Dylan Shea. Took a little hop before any action occurred at the hoop. Call for the travel. King in the corner, tries a long jumper, no good. Does not draw iron. You'll hear it from the Albert Gallatin faithful. Running the court with Shea. That's going to be saved in bounds by and back to the Albert Gallatin, but Connor Basinger with the block. Near corner here, out of bounds. Substitution checking in will be Simon Kuznar. And also into the game for Albert Gallatin, Tito Harrison. Give Palmer a break. Line out of bounds for Albert Gallatin. Probably will not see Saluka much more this half, if at all, with those three fouls. Basinger with a kick there. It's going to be switching positions now. Boyd will take it out of bounds. Gets it in to Harrison. English back to Boyd. Being harassed there by Basinger. He'll skip pass across to Harrison. English with the drive and the floater off glass. Good. Nice athletic drive there by Nate English slicing through that zone defense of the Mustangs for the hoop. Kuznar will take a long three. Line drive shot in there with the rebound, but pulled out of there by English. Long had it, pickpocket by English. Tries to go to the hoop. Finishes, can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound, pass inside. Knocked out of bounds by the Mustangs. English, a water bug with the steal on the other end. Brought it all the way himself. Couple opportunities at the hoop. Another chance now for Albert Gallatin. 19-16, three-point lead with 4-10 to go here in the second. Jackson, ball fake. He'll take it to the hoop. Off glass, no good. Nice rebound there by Long. Going high above everybody. Cook to the hoop. He got it. Bucket by Keandre. Keandre Cook with nine. Nice stop and pop there by Keandre. Back to a one-point game. Boyd tried to get it inside now. They're looking at Jackson trying to post up inside. Bay Singer and Long at the bottom of that 2-3 zone. Boyd to English. Long three on the way. Too strong. Cook with the rebound. Trying to get through the defense, and he has it stolen away. Jackson is tripped. They're going to call an intentional foul on Keandre Cook, I believe, as he tripped up Tyrese Jackson after the steal. It's going to be an intentional foul call by Elliot Adamovich, the official. That's going to send Tyrese Jackson to the line for a two-shot foul and out of bounds. So Jackson will go to the line. Still advised there by Keandre, just a little bit of frustration after the steal. And that will put Jackson at the line. 19-18, Jackson trying to add to the advantage. He will. It will be Albert Gallatin's ball at the point of the infraction after the foul shot. Second one, Little Strong. Albert Gallatin retaining possession. That was the first foul on Keandre, team foul number seven. So 
Albert Gallatin will be in the bonus from here on out in the first half. Palmer back to English. Palmer in the corner. English skip pass to Harrison. Knocked away by Cook. English strong with the ball. Left hand dribble to Jackson. Drive the ball fake back out to English. Good pass to Shea. Puts it on the floor. They've got another travel. It's too many steps. Kuznar will handle the point guard position now for the Mustangs. Low post screens by the Mustangs. Hand off to Keandre. Dribbles to his right. Good defense there by English. Kuznar. Kick back to Basinger for the three. Off the rim, no good. Kuznar with the rebound, tried to get it inside to tie on long, stolen by Shea. He's coming back, tipped away. Back out to Harrison. English, he'll take it all the way to the hoop. Can't get it to go. Shea with the putback, can't get it to go. Shea again, that's off his leg and out of bounds. Good hustle by the Albregal to Colonials on the offensive boards. Just could not get it to fall. Timmy Smith checking back in for Demetrius King. A little more ball handling by Timmy Smith. So we have Smith, Tyvon Long, Connor Basinger, Keandre Cook, and Simon Kuznar for the Mustangs. That's a, it's going to be a push foul there on the Colonials. By Jackson. Jackson picks up his second. That's the fifth team foul on the Colonials. 2.05 to go here in the second quarter. Albert Gallatin with the two point lead. Inbounds all the way in the backcourt to Timmy Smith. Looks for a screen out top. Gets it from Long. He'll take the hoop himself. Score it. Nice drive and bucket by Timmy Smith finishing at the rim. Ties it at 20. Palmer on the right wing. Kick it around to Harrison at the elbow. Jackson, good pass into Shea. He'll finish. Dylan Shea. Dylan Shea, good ball movement against the zone that time by Albert Gallatin. Get it to the elbow and then just look to that baseline. Good positioning by Shea. Basinger now has it knocked away. Quick pass to Palmer in the corner, wide open for a three off the side of the rim. Banking board no good. Timmy Smith gets it to Cook. No contact, can't get it to go long. Can he finish? No, in and out again. Lit on the hoop there for the Mustangs. Two point blank shots again, unable to finish. Crossover by English, blocked at the rim by Long, but he goes to the four and is called for the travel. Good play there by Ty Vaughn, but once he grabbed the ball and fell to the floor, that's a travel. Out of bounds again for Albert Gallatin on the baseline. Boyd, far left wing, has Palmer in the corner. Harrison on top. Boyd will get it to Harrison. He'll take the three. That's blocked by Cook. 43 seconds ago here in the second. Two-point ball game. Boyd thought about the three. Shea for the hoop. Can't get it to go, but he's fouled by Cook. That will send Dylan Shea to the line. Keandre second. Mustangs eighth team foul, but it is a two-shot opportunity with 35 seconds remaining. Dylan Shea with six first half points. Too strong on his first attempt at the line. Coach Hogger limited with the bench. Kane Basinger unable to participate here this evening. And that's a good free throw there by Shea. Now with Saluka with three fouls, really limited opportunity to knocked away by the Colonials. Coming back now with 26 seconds and a three-point lead. 
Need to be strong with that ball if you're Mustangs. Every possession crucial to at least get a shot opportunity. Looks like the Colonials are going to hold for one with English pounding it out front. Now he'll go to the hoop with five seconds. Oh, look inside. Nice pass. No finish there by Long. Kuznar can't get it up the court. And the score at the end of the first half. Albert Gallatin 23, Laurel Highlands 20. Good action here at Albert Gallatin High School. We'll be back with halftime statistics and more here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. You don't have to travel to Pittsburgh to get good representation. We've been doing it since 1976. We've been successful. We can help you right here at home. We know the nuances of the, of the legal system in Uniontown, in Fayette County. We know the nuances of the legal system in Waynesburg and in, 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 in Washington. We know the system. We know where the courthouse is and we know where to park. And at our office, you can park for free. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. Welcome back to Albert Gallatin High School Entertainment being provided by the Albert Gallatin Pep Band. The halftime score, Albert Gallatin 23, Laurel Highlands 20. Here's your scoring for the first half for the Mustangs. Connor Basinger with a three in the first quarter for his total of three. Demetrius King with two. Timmy Smith, a couple of buckets for four. Keandre Cook leading the way for the Mustangs. Seven in the first, two in the second for nine at halftime. Tyvon Long with a bucket for the Mustangs. Total of 20. 12 in the first, eight in the second. Mustangs did not get an opportunity at the foul line and trail 23 to 20. Four, Albert Gallatin, eight English with five. Willie Palmer, a three for his three. Tyrese Jackson with six. Dylan Shea with seven. And Braxton Turner chipping in with two free throws for two points. 15 in the first, eight in the second for Albert Gallatin, 23 total. Albert Gallatin, four for six from the foul line. We have a three-point game at halftime, 23-20. And we'll be back. Gary Frankhauser along with Jerry Dupay on the South Union Township Sports Network. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920. The area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company.
Here we go, ready for second half action here at Albert Gallatin High School. The Colonials on top of the Mustangs, 23 to 20 as we come out for the second half. The possession arrow in favor of the Albert Gallatin Colonials as we start the second half. Albert Gallatin with some good scoring punch down low with Dylan Shea, seven points, four in the first and three in the second for his total of seven, leading the way for the Mustangs, Keandre Cook with nine. Mustangs, a lot of problems putting the ball in the hoop down low. And also now with foul trouble to Ilyasa Saluka, he will not start the second half. Coming out for the Mustangs will be Timmy Smith, Simon Kuznar, Keandre Cook, Tyvon Long, and Connor Basinger. For the Colonials, Willie Palmer, Nate English, Hunter Boyd, number 21, Tyrese Jackson, and Dylan Shea. Ball movement against his own. English with the floater to sh short Jackson with the offensive rebound and put back. Can't get it to go long with the rebound. Two short shots missed by the Colonials. Cook comes back quickly. Timmy Smith on top calls out the offense. Cook with that nice move to get open against the man-to-man -man defense for the Colonials. Down low again to Cook. One dribble back to Timmy Smith. Boyd now guarding him. Kuznar on the right wing inside to Tyvon Long. Try to get it to Basinger on the block. On the floor now. Good hustle there by Basinger. Wow. That's what you like to see if you're Coach Hogger. Bodies on the floor going after that loose ball. Screen by Tyvon Long for Cook, and he'll finish. Keandre Cook from the elbow. Cuts it to one, 23-22. To the hoop now, stolen away. Cook will come back again, but has it knocked away. He's going to be called for a foul. That's going to be Keandre Cook with a foul, I believe. And that will be his third, if that's the case. No, they're going to... Uh, yes, it is Keandre. His third first team foul of the second half. Thought for a minute there it was going to go the other way, but correct call made. English now on top. Slide through, got it, threw it away. Basinger coming back with numbers. Can he get it to the hoop? No, knocked away, off his foot, out of bounds. Hunter Boyd knocked it off of Connor's knee and Breakout for the Mustangs does not result in an opportunity at the hoop. Deliberately bringing it up now is Nate English. Over to Palmer. On top to Boyd. Two seniors in the lineup there. Jackson, ball fake. Down the middle to Shea. He'll score. Once they get the ball that deep against the zone, difficult for the Mustangs to defend that. Not enough bodies down there. And Jackson is very good with the ball. Cook now behind the back, loses control. Boyd gets it. Back to English. 25-22. Albert Gallatin on top. Almost traveled. Boyd threw it right to Keandre Cook. Cook bringing it ahead now to Timmy. Back to Cook. Now a little bit off balance there, Keandre, and he'll tip it back in was Connor Basinger. But knocked it back and picking it up is Kuznar. He'll try the three. Not to rim no good. Long will kick it back out to Timmy. Keandre for three, no good. Good box out that time. Three Albert Gallatin Colonials boxing out for that defensive rebound. So several opportunities at the hoop. Unsuccessful. We gotta have what are we gonna have? Call foul by Tony Carter across the way. As English was slicing through the defense, that's going to be called Timmy Smith, his second, team second of the second half. Now checking in will be Demetrius King to give Keandre Cook a break. Demetrius, good offensive prowess for the Mustangs. See if he could do some things. Corner pass to English. Stolen away. 
Here comes Demetrius to the hoop. Off glass, got it. Instant offense by Demetrius King off the bench. Back to a one-point ball game, 25-24. Albert Gallatin. Boyd with a short jumper. Got it. His first two of the contest, Hunter Boyd makes it a three-point game again. Demetrius King for three. Too strong off the rim. Back comes Albert Gallatin. Boyd gets it to Jackson at the elbow. Off glass, Tyrese Jackson. I'm not sure he meant to bank that, but he'll take it nonetheless. Score it for Tyrese Jackson, five-point advantage. Largest lead of the game now for Albert Gallatin at 29-24 with 4.19 to go here in the third quarter. We'll be right back on the South Indian Township Sports Network. Mustangs with the possession out of the timeout after the hoop by Tyrese Jackson. They will continue to pick up at half court, man to man. Get that high screen on top for the point guard. Kuznar now looking for the same screen. Cuts to the hoop. Slicing through is Demetrius King. It's going to be a foul called. That's going to be on Nate English, his first, team first. Out of bounds to the Mustangs. Fortuitous foul there for the Mustangs. Long, can't control. He fouls on the turnover. So Tyvon Long will pick up his first. And that will be the third team foul on the Mustangs as Saluka will check back in. Tyvon with the Little bit of slippery hands there, unable to corral that pass and resulted in a foul. Hunter Boyd over to English. Thought about the three, now knocked out of bounds. Stays with the Colonials. Good hands there by Connor Basinger. Active hands on the defense as the Mustangs stretch that zone out and basically match up in their areas. English. Looking things over, gets it to Palmer. Palmer deliberately looking in, gets it back. Spin move, pass inside to Jackson. We're going to have a foul called, I believe, on Demetrius King this time. By Demetrius King. His second team fourth. So the Mustangs piling up the fouls here early in the third quarter. Already four team fouls. Trying to post up inside again was... Jackson kick it all the way out on top to English. Double team there. Cross to Boyd. Turner. I'm sorry, that is Palmer in the corner. Boyd for three, short off the rim, knocked away. Run down there by Timmy Smith. Gets it to Kuznar. In the corner to King. Has the baseline move. Gets it off glass and score it. Demetrius King, four points in the quarter. Give him six. Back to a three-point game, 29-26. Three minutes to go here in the third. Ed English being guarded by Kuznar. Back out to Boyd. Pass inside, posting up. Saluka with the ball to Timmy Smith. Back to Demetrius King. Has it knocked away. That's going to be out of bounds. Stays with the Mustangs. Good reach around there by Hunter Boyd as the driving Demetrius King was trying to get himself in position to take a shot. Out of bounds, far corner. Kuznar gets it to Saluka. He'll swing it back to King. Kuznar 
Thought about the three, he'll take it in. Rolling, no good. Saluka can't get the rebound. Back to Hunter Boyd. So another opportunity to hoop missed by the Mustangs. 29-26, we got a travel call there on Hunter Boyd. Unforced error there by Albert Gallatin. Connor Basinger now in the backcourt with Timmy Smith and Kuznar. This will be Timmy. Trying to create an opening for himself. Gets it to Demetrius. Demetrius trying to create himself against Boyd. Gets a high screen for Basinger. Goes to the hoop, a lot of contact, no foul called. Granted his space that time was Tyrese Jackson, and Jackson will go off glass again. Jackson. Two times in the quarter, Jackson goes off glass. S Saluka now can't get the ball to go, and he misses again. That's out of bounds back to the Mustangs. Saluka aggressive to the hoop, but again could not get it to fall. Checking in for Albert Gallatin, Braxton Turner along with number 20, Tito Harrison. Mustangs get it inside that time, and Saluka with the screen inside gets his first bucket of the evening, 31-28. Albert Gallatin still with the three-point advantage. English across to Harrison, on top to Boyd. Ball fake inside, Harrison. Gets it to Turner at the foul line. Does not get the shot that time. Kuznar ahead. Demetrius King looking inside. Ball fake now. Crossover to his left. Kuznar to Basinger. Basinger nowhere to go. Kick it back out to Kuznar. Reset. High screen by Saluka. Kuznar to Timmy Smith for three off glass. No good. Kuznar with the rebound. Another opportunity for the Mustangs. King to the hoop. He's fouled going to the hoop. That's going to be, I believe, on Hunter Boyd. Let's see. That's going to be on Hunter Boyd. Demetrius King at the line. That's his third, and they're going to say Demetrius had gathered and was attempting to shoot, so he'll be at the line for two. Trying to add to his total, too strong. Demetrius with four in the quarter, six overall. Checking in now is Tyvon Long for Connor Basinger. King with the shot, in and out. Saluka with the rebound, tried to put it back up. He's fouled. Good offensive attempt there by Iliasa Saluka. Palmer. Iliasa Saluka. Palmer picks up his first. Team foul three on the Albert Gallatin Colonials. Saluka at the line. First opportunity for him this evening. It's the first. 31 29. Checking back in for Albert Gallatin is Dylan Shea. Sophomore power forward provided a lot of effort for the Colonials. Saluka unsuccessful on the second. Keeps it a two-point game. 31-29. 42 seconds to go here in the third. Shea baseline. Has it blocked, but powers it up. Gives him double figures at 11. Now a four-point lead with 26 seconds to go. Corner to Kuznar. They're looking to try to get it into Saluka on the block. Double team down there low. Now it's long with the steal that made by English. 10 seconds to go. He'll go all the way. Has it knocked away. Back to the Mustangs with four seconds. Kuznar can't gather it in, so the Mustangs unable to get a shot off. Four tenths of a second to go. Trailing by four, 33 to 29. Albert Gallatin with an opportunity to just whip it up to the hoop. 
It's a long one off the rim, almost got it. Wow. English with the shot. It's Albert Gallatin, 33, Laurel Highlands, 29, as we head to the fourth here on the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by Drs. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Ready for fourth quarter action here on the South Indian Township Sports Network. Gary Frank Hauser along with Jerry Dupay will be the Mustangs possession with the Albert Gallatin Colonials leading 33 to 29 as we start the fourth on the court for the Mustangs. Kuznar with the ball. Tyvon Long, Ilyasa Saluka, Keandre Cook, and Demetrius King. For the Colonials, Hunter Boyd, Tyrese Jackson, Dylan Shea, Nate English, and Willie Palmer. King thought about the jumper. Hesitation move to the hoop. Nice pass inside. Finish by Tyvon Long. Assist to Demetrius King. One point game, two point game, I'm sorry, 33 to 31. Jackson now with the hop step. It's going to be a travel. Got to come down with both feet or it's going to be a travel. Called there by Tony Carter. Cook. Looking for someone inside, finds Saluka. A lot of contact. There's going to be a push there, and that's going to be on Dylan Shea. Talked by Dylan Shea. Cook will inbounds all the way out on top to Demetrius King. Demetrius with the screen to the hoop. Runner short, looking for to get his own rebound, and that's going to be. Out of bounds off the Mustangs, back to Albert Gallatin. 33-31. Albert Gallatin with the lead and the ball. Palmer will take over on top. Boyd, left wing. 
Match up out of that 2-3 zone, provide some pressure. Albert Gallup looks to get it to that foul line position for Jackson, and then he has the option to take the shot, look underneath the Shea. This is English for three. Off the rim, no good, out of bounds, back to the Mustangs. Good open look there for Nate English. Just could not find the range. Coach Fleener will take that shot anytime he gets it. Kuznar with the screen out on top. Timeout call by Coach Hogger. He wants to talk about it a little bit, come up with some different offensive strategy. We'll step aside, 30-second timeout here on the South Union Township. Sports Network gets Albert Gallatin, 33, Laurel Highlands, 31. Just sit right down and you hear a tale, a tale of a fateful call. You better pay those bills right now or you take a mighty fall. He really didn't know what to do, so he turned to those who did. Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, your bankruptcy crew, your bankruptcy crew. So no matter how deep in debt you are, if your back's against the wall, Zeppli, Mahalo, and White, just give them a call. Out of the timeout, it'll be the Mustangs' possession at the hash mark. Coach Hogger setting up some new offensive strategy here with Keandre Cook trying to get involved. English now with the defense, a lot of contact, and he's going to strip it away. Ball's on the court. Needs to be strong with that ball. English to Shea. Skip pass to Boyd. He had nowhere to go with that. That's knocked out of bounds. Back to the Mustangs. Hunter got stuck in no man's land there. Had no way to shoot it or pass it. Just had to release it. Out of bounds. Back to the Mustangs. Cook being harassed extensively there by Nate English. Giving him no room to breathe. Kuznar has it kicked out of bounds by Boyd. 5.23 to go here. Two-point ball game, 33-31. It's a good one here at Albert Gallatin. Mustangs trying to finish their section playoff with a victory. Albert Gallatin, likewise, would like to finish with a victory over the Mustangs. Long now, back to Long, up off the rim, no good, short. Frustrating for the Mustangs, unable to finish those Point-blank shots. Palmer out on top to English. He'll hold outside, maybe use some clock with a two-point advantage. Boyd to Palmer. Palmer dribbles through his legs, gets it over to Boyd. Mustangs packing it back in a little more now as Jackson has it knocked away. Palmer for three in the corner, short off the rim. Jackson with the offensive rebound, spin move. Nowhere to go in that time, and a foul called. Body contact, I believe, look clean up top. That's going to be fouled on, let's see who the foul's called. They call it on long, but they put it up against Saluka, so I'm not sure who had that call. Jackson finishes the foul shot. Scoreboard says it was Saluka. That's his fourth, if that's the case, and he's going to come out. So I'm going to rely on the scoreboard and have the foul called on Junior. Checking back in, Timmy Smith and Connor Basinger. Kuznar and Junior to the bench. Jackson with 11, trying to add to the three-point lead in and out. Demetrius King with the rebound. Mustangs need to find some offense here in the fourth. 4.20 to go. Long gets it back to Timmy. Good ball fake at inside again to Long. Skip pass to King. He'll take the three. Too hard off the iron. Mustangs try to grab for the rebound, but Palmer will bring it ahead. 
Boyd inside, stolen by King. King trying to get some numbers. Very few fast, fast break points for either team in this contest. Good defense getting back on both sides. A 30-second timeout being called by Laurel Highlands. We'll keep it right here with 3.56 to go here in the fourth. Albert Gallatin holding on to a 34-31 lead. Coach Hogger emphasizing the importance of each possession for the Mustangs to get a quality opportunity at the hoop. Be strong with the ball. Do not let that harassing defense, especially by Nate English, creating turnovers. And on the other side, Coach Fleener, just the opposite. Keep up that pressure on the Mustangs. Create turnovers. Do not allow any quality shots and be very patient on the offensive side if you're Albert Gallatin. Been very efe efficient getting the ball to the foul line and down low, finishing by Tyrese Jackson and Dylan Shea. Checking in now for Albert Gallatin, number five, that's Chandler Goodwin. Timmy now being really harassed by, that's going to be a foul call by on Hunter Boyd. Just too much body contact. That's going to be his fourth, I believe. It is, and that's the fifth team foul. So Shea Fleener will have to go to the bench and bring in Tito Harrison for Boyd. 3.46 to go here in the fourth. Mustangs had a brief lead at 2 to nothing and have trailed ever since. Get it inside now to Cook. Nowhere to go with it. Can't get it up. We got a foul called. Out of bounds. Foul's going to be called on Nate English. His second team foul, number six. So the Mustangs will be in the bonus with the next foul. And Albert Gallatin needs two to get in the bonus. Looking, try to get it inside, and Long not looking for the pass. It's been picked off there by Shea. Get it to Palmer, and he's fouled on his way to the hoop. Tyvon just not looking for the pass. Pretty much what Coach Hogger had in mind. Palmer will go to the line as a foul called on King, his third. Palmer with an opportunity at the line. His first opportunity this evening, he'll hit the first. first two, three, good. Gives him four. Saluka will check back in with 3.26 to go. Why not? Has four fouls, but getting back in there, try to create some offensive putbacks, control that defensive board. Willie Palmer with a second opportunity. Now trying to make it a five-point game. And he does. 36-31, Albert Gallatin on top. Mustangs now, time running out, need to find some buckets. Cook to the hoop. Got it, Keandre. Bucket by Keandre Cook. Make gives him 13 on the evening. Whistle as the ball came loose. Back to a three-point game, 36-33. Nate English, strong with that ball as a sophomore. Mustangs now switching to a 1-3-1 zone. Swing it in the corner that way to Goodwin. He is trapped. Now stolen away by Saluka. Get it to Timmy. Timmy ahead to Demetrius King, corner to Basinger for three on the way, short off the rim. Good open opportunity there for Connor, just could not find the range. 1-3-1 one, one zone, and that's going to be a foul. What do we got? Timeout, Albert Gallagher. Full timeout. Called by Shea Fleener, recognized the changing defense by the Mustangs. He wants to talk about his attack against that 1-3-1 one, one with 2.36 to go. Albert Gallatin on top, 36-33. We'll be right back here on the South Union Township Sports Network.
Welcome back to the Albert Gallatin High School, home of the Colonials. Both teams trying to finish off their section play here in section 1-5A. Albert Gallatin with the 36-33 lead and the ball. Mustangs coming into a 1-3-1 half court zone. Provided some problems. That was a double dribble. He got away with it. Jackson to the hoop. Back to a five point lead for Albert Gallatin, 38-33. Timmy Smith to Cook. Cook, foul line, basing her to the hoop. Can't get it to go. Again, off the rim, no good. Good opportunity that time. This is Shave. Nice pass to Jackson. Largest lead of the game now at seven for Albert Gallatin. Demetrius King has it knocked away. Turnover back to Albert Gallatin. Things slipping away here for the Mustangs, but give credit to the Albert Gallatin defense for the turnovers. English out on top to Palmer. No need to be in a hurry now with a minute 30 to go and a seven point lead. English will control out top. Nice pass inside. No look. Shea with the finish. Timeout, Laurel Highlands, as Albert Gallatin has now stretched it out to a nine point lead, 42 33, with a minute 19 to go here in the fourth. We'll take our final timeout. Be back with the conclusion of this action here on the South Indian Township Sports Network. Here we go, minute 19 to go. Albert Gallatin in control now, 42 to 33. Mustangs need quick hoops with limited time. Three possession ball game if you're talking about three pointers, but Mustangs just need to get points one way or the other. Skip it all the way out on top to Timmy. He's tripped on the way to the hoop. That's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one opportunity and that's gonna be a foul out for Hunter Boyd here on senior night, Hunter being honored along with Chandler Goodwin and Willie Palmer, but I believe that's gonna be his fifth foul. And that's gonna send Timmy Smith to the foul line one and one. Nice round of applause for the senior Hunter Boyd. Strong effort tonight for Hunter defensively. Limiting the Mustang opportunities continuously throughout the evening. Timmy Smith for one and one. Too strong off the rim, no good. Now Albert Gallatin with the ball in under a minute and a nine point lead. No need to shoot if you're Albert Gallatin. Got to have a turnover, they get it. Almost a walk there by Keandre, but he does finish. Cuts it to seven. Mustangs need to foul now. Just 35 seconds ago, they got a foul. 29 seconds, not tipped away again. And there's the foul. A lot of clock ticking off there, down to 25 seconds, seven point lead. Mustangs need possessions and stopping the clock. Give credit to the Albert Gallo, to Colonials keeping that ball movement. Fouls caught on Basinger, just his second, but a one and one opportunity now for Jackson. Misses Kuznar with the rebound. 
Clock kick ticking down. Cook will try the three. Way outside, no good. Basinger can't get the rebound. Strong rebound by Dylan Shea. Now 10 seconds to go. Really nothing for the Mustangs to do here. As they do foul though, but five seconds to go. Seven point advantage for Albert Gallatin. The Colonials will go into postseason action with a finishing win here on home court against the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Game effort by both squads here this evening. Entertaining basketball game. But Albert Gallatin will prevail. Willie Palmer trying to add to his total and does give him five on the evening. Three for three at the line so far here in the fourth for Willie. Also being honored on senior night. Next shot up and got it. Checking in for Colonials for Willie Palmer. That's going to be Mason Lehu to give Palmer his ovation from the fans. Three, two, one. Kuznar with the last shot, and he'll hit it at the buzzer. But too little, too late for the Mustangs. The final, Albert Gallatin, 44, Laurel Highlands, 37. We'll be back to wrap things up with the final statistics here on the South Indian Township Sports Network. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're going to be faced with numerous questions concerning who's going to pay your medical bills, your property damage, wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. Welcome back to the gymnasium here at Albert Gallatin as the fans will make their way out of the facility here with Albert Gallatin picking up a home victory, 44 to 37. Happy home crowd with the win for the Albert Gallatin Colonials over the visiting Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Here's the scoring for Laurel Highlands. Connor Basinger with three. Demetrius King with six. Timmy Smith with four. Simon Kuznar with a deuce. Keandre Cook, 15. Eliasa Saluka with three. And Tyvon Long with six. The Mustangs with 12 in the first, eight in the second, nine in the third, and eight in the fourth for their total of 37 points. The Mustangs just one for five, one for five from the foul line. So did not help themselves in that department. For the victorious Albert Gallatin Colonials, Nate English with five, Hunter Boyd with two, Willie Palmer with seven, Tyrese Jackson, 15, Dylan Shea, 13, and Braxton Turner with two. 15 in the first, eight in the second, 10 in the third, 
11 in the fourth for their total of 44 points. Well, Albert Gallatin will wait for their positioning on Tuesday as the WPIL will be announcing the playoff seedings and locations of the games. We wish Albert Gallatin a lot of luck going into the postseason action. And it was our pleasure to bring you tonight's action here on the South Union Township Sports Network. This game has been brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring the supervisors, Bob Schiffbeier, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and everyone at CUTV, Gary Smith and his staff. This has been Gary Frankhauser on the play-by-play. -play. Jerry Dupay, outstanding work on the camera. Another South Union Township Sports Network presentation. Our final once again, Albert Gallatin, 44, Laurel Highlands, 37. Good night, everyone.